How's it going guys? Welcome back to my True APS tutorial series and uh, in the previous video we have set up a uh, uh, the jog, plan space and uh, the screen logic for our character so in this video we're gonna set up the crouch uh, plan space and uh, we're gonna make some adjustment to our screen logic so uh, Let's dive in, shall we? Now, before we do anything, uh, uh, I have made some uh, adjustment to our job uh, plan space. Uh, basically, I uh, I change uh, the target weight down to uh, two. So yeah, that's the only adjustment I want to m make for the previous uh, video. So now in the our new status pack, uh, we're gonna create a new uh, a new plan space, and I will call it. Uh, and so we have to choose the um, skeleton in the our new status pack, and I will call it Crouch Iron Sight BS. All right. So once again, we're gonna name this direction uh, from negative 180 to 180. Uh, vertical axis uh, will be the speed, and this is fine. So now we're gonna drag the crouch animation here so make sure you drag the rifle iron sight crouch not the not the hip one so uh I'm gonna drag the crouch forward here uh the backward the backward here and And, and now we're gonna drag the idle post into the bottom of our plan space. Okay, so once we got the crouch uh, plan space, we're gonna make some adjustment to our animation blueprint so in the anim graph the locomotion uh, we're gonna set up the transition rules for the crouch so uh, the default transition rules is kinda good right now so I'm just gonna make some little adjustment to it so when we crouch uh, it will enter this uh, animation crouch idle right for hip so we're gonna replace this with with uh, crouch uh, crouch idle right for iron sight and I will delete this compile and then when when the character is moving uh, it will transition into this uh, plan space so we're gonna re replace it with our new plan space all right and now when the character is not crouching uh, we're gonna transition back to the uh, idle state so uh, so I'm gonna change the mode into uh, the default and I'll change the duration into uh, 0.3 for both of these
and this one also so now if I hit play and if I crouch okay so it is a little bit snappy so once again uh, I'm gonna crank up the interpolation time of the vertical axis 2.3 and uh, target weight uh, to about 2 so now if I crouch okay it's very smooth right now alright so now we're gonna gonna modify our character blueprint a little bit so so for the for the crouch I'm gonna expand the I'm gonna expand the command and um, I'll create a new custom event I'll call it toggle crouch and the input will be a uh, boolean uh, I will name it toggle so uh, and I will name this variable to be uh, is crouching So, so when we press uh, the crouch button, uh, we will check if the uh, character is already crouching. Uh, if the character is or already crouching, we will call the toggle crouch, and the input will be false. And if the character is not, it's not over, or it's not so. So when the character is not already crouching, we will toggle the crouch to true. So uh, in here, branch. So if this is true, I will, we will enable crouching, and I will call it a function, which is crouch, and. Uh, and crouch right so in the character movement uh, we have a uh, crouch half height so this is 40 so basically uh, when the, the when the character is uh, standing uh, the half height of the character will be uh, 100 as you can see so when I crouch so when I crouch uh, the half height will be decreased in uh, to uh, 40 so if I crouch oh so it's not uh, working yet uh, oh so we have to take the uh, can crouch to true so uh, when you crouch, the capsule component will automatically uh, scale down when we crouch. So this is good. Okay. And uh, now if I crouch and I press uh, the sprint key, uh, nothing will happen because we are crouching. So, uh, so now uh, I will also create a new custom event and I will call it Turbo Sprint.
and the input uh, will also be a uh, boolean a branch Lock this. So uh, when we press the left shift key, uh, we will have a branch to see if the player is crouching. So if uh, so, if it's true, uh, so if so if it's true, uh, we will toggle crouch, and the input will be uh, false. So and we will call the toggle sprint alright we'll refresh the node so uh, if the character is not crouching we will just simply uh, toggle sprint and when the player release the uh, left shift key We'll call the toggle sprint and the input will be false. So uh, I think we're good to go. Let's check this out. So if I crouch and then I press the left shift key, the player will sprint as usual. Alright, so this is the end of this video and I hope uh, you guys uh, have learned something useful. Uh, so I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.